Hello friends, this video on congruence of triangles part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned so far on SSS, SAS and ASA criteria of congruence, let us quickly have a look at some of the questions. Question number 1. Complete the following statements. Two line segments are congruent if so what is the criteria for line segments to be congruent? There is just one criteria that they should have same length. So if they have the same length, that would mean that they are congruent. Among two congruent angles, one has a measure of 70 degree. The measure of the other angle is now for two congruent angles, the criteria for their congruence is that their measure should be equal. So if one is 70 degree, the other will also be 70 degree. When we write angle A is equal to angle B, we actually mean, so if two angles are equal, that means measure of the two angles are equal. That actually means that the two angles are congruent. So we actually mean that angle A is congruent to angle B. Question number 2. If triangle ABC is congruent to triangle FED under the correspondence ABC corresponds to FED, what does this mean? This means that point A corresponds to point F, point B corresponds to point E and point C corresponds to point D. So this is what it means. This basically means that if you have a triangle ABC, let's say this is your triangle A. B, C. And if you have another triangle F, E, D, so if you overlap these two triangles, then the overlapping will happen in such a way that F will overlap with A, E will overlap with B and D will overlap with C. So that is why A and F are corresponding vertices, B and E are corresponding vertices and C and D are corresponding vertices. So the question is asking write all the corresponding congruent parts of the triangles. Now since these two triangles are congruent that itself means that all their corresponding parts should also be congruent. That means all their corresponding angles should be equal. All their corresponding sides should also be equal. So let us look at their corresponding sides. So let us start with the corresponding sides. So when you talk about the corresponding sides, now A is cor A corresponds to F, B corresponds to E. Therefore, AB corresponds to FE. Similarly, AC corresponds to FD. This is the symbol for correspondence. Similarly, BC corresponds to ED. So these are the corresponding sides. What about the corresponding angles? The corresponding angles would be angle A corresponds to angle F, angle B corresponds to angle E and angle C corresponds to angle D. So these are the corresponding angles. And what about the corresponding vertices? So when you talk about the corresponding vertices, which is anyways given in the question itself, that A corresponds to F, B corresponds to E and C corresponds to D. So this is how we can tell that the corresponding parts of the triangles are also congruent. Now when we say that these are the corresponding parts, how are they congruent? That's because the length of AB is equal to the length of EF, length of BC is equal to length of ED and length of AC is equal to the length of FD. Similarly, angle A is equal to angle F, angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle D. Question number 3. If triangle A, B, if triangle D, E, F is congruent to triangle B, C, A, write the parts of triangle B, C, A that correspond to. So before answering these questions, let us first try to draw these triangles. So it says that triangle D, E, F. So let us say we have a triangle like this. Let us name it D, E, F. Now this triangle is congruent to another triangle such that the other triangle is BCA. That means basically B corresponds to D. 
So this should be B. E correspo C corresponds to E. So this should be C. And A corresponds to F. So this should be A. So this is how the other triangle should be. Now we have to write down the parts of triangle BCA that correspond to angle E. So this is angle E. So which angle corresponds to angle E? Definitely angle C. So therefore, first part will be angle C. Which part corresponds to EF? This is EF. So the corresponding part would be AC. So EF, so this would be CA because in this case D corresponds to B, E corresponds to C and F corresponds to A. So EF, that is E corresponds to C, F corresponds to A. So EF will correspond to CA. Angle F, this is angle F, this angle F corresponds to angle A. DF. This is DF, so DF corresponds to BA. So in order to answer these kind of questions, the first tip is to draw the triangles, to draw the triangles as per the correspondence of the vertices. Like for example, here the question says triangle DEF is congruent to triangle BCA. Therefore, you should name the triangle in such a way that B corresponds to D, C corresponds to E and A corresponds to F. Question number four. Is triangle ABD congruent to triangle ABC? So this is triangle ABD, this portion. And this portion is triangle ADC. So let us try to compare what are the, which criteria does it follow. So triangle in triangle ABD and triangle ADC. What do we see? We see that AB is equal to AC. Both of them are 3.5 centimeter. So we see that AB is equal to AC because the length is given as 3.5 centimeters. We also see that AD is equal to AD because AD is a common side. So AD is a side of triangle ABD. AD is also a side of triangle ADC. So we can say AD is equal to AD because this is a common side. So since it is a common side, so definitely the length of this side is equal. Perfect. Now let us look at the third side which is the third side that is BD. So BD is 2.5 centimeter and DC is also 2.5 centimeter. So BD is equal to CD which is again given as 2.5 centimeter. So what do we see? We see that all the three sides of the triangles are equal to their corresponding sides. Therefore we can say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD by which criteria? SSS criteria. Now it is very important to write in bracket that by which criteria are the two triangles congruent because they, there exist multiple criteria, right? So we should specifically mention by which criteria the triangles are congruent. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.